Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I want to show you the difference between an SVG font um, and an actual font, because this used to happen to me a lot when I was first starting, because I didn't realize it. As long as I saw the word font and I saw letters of the alphabet, I thought I was good. So, all right, before we get started, though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the help that I can get from you. And all right, let's go. So uh, this is Creative Fabrica, and you know I love Creative Fabrica, but I want to show you the two different dinosaur fonts. I mean, there were a ton to choose from, but I really want to give you an example. So the first one is this one, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm, I'm going to love it. Clue number one that this is not a font it says SVG, PNG, EPS. If it's a font, it just downloads into your system and becomes a font within your system, right? So um, that's clue number one. Uh, let me see, sometimes it will actually tell you, okay, like this, this is cut files letters and not installing an actual font, okay? Um, so that is your first clue. Let me go to number two. So number two is actually a font because, um, let me see if I can, so this is what the font looks like, okay? If you're on Creative Fabrica, it will say try this font. So I can type in Charlotte and I can see what Charlotte looks like in this font, okay? The next way that you'll know is when you go to download. So I've already download, downloaded this font and I have a tutorial on how to, um, you know, use the offset and, and whatever else. Um, but let's go, I've already downloaded both so that you can see. I'm gonna go into design space at this moment and actually no, before I do that, let's go into my files. So let's go into downloads and here is the dinosaur font that is an SVG. When I go to my zip files, you'll see I have all the options. I can print it um, using a JPEG or PDF. Here's my SVG file. So each number and letter would need to be uploaded. So I'm just gonna pull out a few because I don't wanna do a ton of these. So I'm gonna uh, just go and drop it into my downloads and hopefully I don't have anything in my downloads already called B. Okay, now let's go into design space. So in design space, this is the difference between an SVG file and an actual font, okay? Um, I've already downloaded the dinosaur one, so I'm gonna go into font and search for my dinosaur, and here it is. So with the dinosaur one, I can type in Charlotte, um, my name, the useless, oops. Okay. The other one is not in here. What I need to do then is it is an actual file for each letter. So I'm gonna go into upload, upload image, browse. Here's my B and I can name it B dinosaur upload. So if I wanted to use this, I would always have to go into either my uploads or my images. Okay, I'm gonna upload the A as well. Just so that we have more than more than one letter. <laughs> okay, so now they're in there, okay? So let's say I wanted to type out A, B. I would have to go into images, search for A or dinosaur, okay? And there it is. I have to click on it. It's as if it was a drawing of the letter A, if that makes it easier for you to imagine. Um, so for me to type out Charlotte, I would actually have to upload or get my images of all these letters. So you see, like I can't just go into font because it was not a font to begin with. I couldn't install the font. Um, I've seen this a lot on Etsy and I can show you now what that looks like. Let's go into Etsy. Um, I noticed this a lot with Pokemon letters. Pokemon, um, let's type in Pokemon font because you can't really buy fonts on here. So you can see the file formats, it'll say SVG, PNG. So these are things, they're, they're single images. Um, as well as this one. So each of these letters come in, you need to then upload each individual letter. And you see it's SVG, 
you know, PNG. Um, oh, let's, nope. I was going to say, oh, this is font, but here it is, SVG again. So you know when you go to fonts, you're going to have to upload each and each individual letter and number and whatever else. So it is extremely frustrating because <laughs> it's one thing, well, I mean, first of all, Charlotte is nine letters. So to do anything separately for nine letters, but then anytime that I want to go back and use it, it's just, I absolutely hate using files for fonts. So I hope that was helpful. It was super quick, but hopefully I'll save you time and money and I will see you guys next time. Bye.